Honorable Minister of Finance, Mr. Kanubai. Honorable Minister of Industries, Mr. Rajput. Honorable Chief Secretary of Gujarat, Mr. Pankaj Kumar. Honorable Additional Chief Secretary of Industry, Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Chairman Zaidas, Mr. Pankaj Patel. Executive Director, Arvind Limited, Mr. Raj, uh, Lalubai. Uh, senior officials from Government of India and the Government of Gujarat, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar. My name is Hisanori Takashiba. I am Managing Director of TDS, which is my own Battery Gujarat Private Limited. On behalf of Suzuki Group, I thank you for inviting us at this important event today. Ladies and gentlemen, Suzuki signed an agreement with the government of Gujarat to set up a new factory in year 2012. Under the leadership of Shri Narendra Modi, who was then the Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat. Since the inception of the project, the group has received encouraging and enthusiastic support from both central and the Gujarat government. Whether it is infrastructure development, quick clearance and business enabling policies, the Gujarat government has created a conductive environment for our manufacturing operations. I am delighted to share that encouraged by Gujarat government's industry-friendly approach, Suzuki Group has progressively expanded operations and invested in multiple projects in Gujarat. The investment includes, one, Suzuki's three vehicle manufacturing plant in Hansalpur with a total capacity to produce 7.5 lakhs car every year. Two, India's first lithium ion battery manufacturing plant with cell level localization in Hasarpur. Three, Japan India Institute of Manufacturing in Mesana. Four, India's first international automobile center of excellence in Gajinawa, a PPP model with government of Gujarat. Five, a super specialty hospital in collaboration with Zaidas Group in Shitapur. And six, a senior secondary school in collaboration with the Poda Education Network in Shitapur. Together with its suppliers, Suzuki has invested over 23,000 crore rupees in the state of Gujarat and offers direct employment to more than 47,000 people in Gujarat. I am also happy to mention that in true Atmanel Barbarat spirit, we have made Gujarat our manufacturing hub for export of cars from India. We thank and appreciate central and state government for their warm welcome, facilitation, and support to our projects. In March 2022, encouraged by the Gujarat State Progressive Policies, Suzuki Motor Corporation signed an MOU with the state of Gujarat. In the presence of Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi, and the Honorable Prime Minister of Japan, Mr. Fumio Kishida. According to MOU, Suzuki will invest over 10,000 crore rupees for one, manufacturing of electric vehicle in Gujarat, two, additional battery plant for electric vehicle batteries in Hansalpur, Gujarat, and three, setting up a big recycling plant in the state. 
Suzuki is committed to bring its first electric vehicle by 2025. In fact, I'm happy to share Suzuki's first global strategic electric vehicle concept EVX was recently unveiled at the Auto Expo 2023. India was the first market where Suzuki showcased the concept EVX, demonstrating the importance of India in Suzuki's business plans. Concept EVX is born electric vehicle created on a dedicated all-new electric vehicle platform. The dedicated electric vehicle platform is flexible and in future helps Suzuki offer a range of electric vehicles. Having said that, let me also assure that in addition to developing electric vehicle, Suzuki Group will be working on multiple green technologies, such as hybrid electric, CNG, bio CNG, and ethanol in its journey of carbon neutrality in India. And we will bring, team, uh, bring them with scale and localization for mass adoption. To accelerate carbon neutrality efforts, Suzuki has signed an MOU with LDDB to start a biogas demonstration project in Gujarat. At Suzuki, we firmly believe that the government of Gujarat has built an excellent foundation for industries. It inspires us to aim higher. By aiming higher, we are confident that Gujarat can lead India's journey to a carbon net zero. We will be happy to strengthen our partnership with the government of Gujarat in this exciting journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your positive experience regarding business in Gujarat.